dear students today we will be discussing about the first chapter of chemistry that is chemical reactions and equations so we will be discussing what is a chemical reaction what is a chemical equation and what is the difference between them and then we will proceed towards the basic types of chemical reactions so first we will learn about what is a chemical reaction chemical reaction is basically a reaction in which new product with new properties are formed for example let us say that's a very basic example hydrogen and oxygen will react to form water and we know that these two are elements basically in the gaseous form and they have entirely different properties as compared to that of water hydrogen and oxygen here are known as reactants and water is known as the product so in this if we will write let us say for example if we write hydrogen plus oxygen will give water so it basically represents a chemical reaction but if we will write this reaction in symbolic form that is the symbolic representation it will represent a chemical equation so the basic difference between chemical reaction and equation is this is a chemical reaction and if it is represented in the form of symbols then it will be called a chemical equation let us say for example we will explain with this more with the help of an activity for example we have learned about the magnesium ribbon if we will burn the magnesium ribbon in the presence of oxygen what will happen let us say we have taken a magnesium ribbon and we will burn it in the presence of oxygen this is a burner and if we will burn it what will happen basically you will be asked about what will be your observation so before proceeding to that we will learn about whenever a magnesium ribbon is burned it is cleaned with the sand paper so you will be asked that that is the very first question why it is cleaned with sand paper so the answer is to remove the basic layer of magnesium oxide or magnesium carbonate so to remove that layer because if magnesium ribbon is kept in open air it will acquire a big a slight layer of that oxide so so to remove that layer we will rub it with a sand paper cause if we will not rub it the burning will not be a proper burning for example let us say we have removed the layer now what will happen if we will burn this magnesium ribbon two observations will be there so you will be always asked about the observations what you have observed the first observation will be a dazzling white flame will be produced and what do you mean by dazzling dazzling means a very very bright flame will be produced and the second observation will be on complete burning of magnesium you will observe that a white powder of magnesium oxide will be formed and this is the basic reaction like mg plus o2 will give mgo because magnesium has combined with the oxygen present in the air and it has formed this white powder which is known as magnesium oxide and along with that a dazzling white flame will be produced pause okay students now we have when we have learned about the chemical reaction and equation now we will learn about what are the basic effects of chemical reaction like whether a chemical reaction has occurred or not <laughs> so these are the effects of chemical reaction like whether a chemical reaction has occurred or not how we will get to know about that so these are the effects which we basically observe that the first one is either there will be a change in temperature either there will be an evolution of gas or there will be the formation of precipitate or there will be some change in color so you will be basically asked about given activity how you can say that there is some change in temperature so how you will prove this point or this or any of these point with the help of an activity i will explain you this like for example you don't have to learn four activities 
I'll just explain you one activity in which both these effects will happen. So the first activity in which there is evolution of gas or change in temperature is let us say we have taken a conical flask and in this conical flask we will add some zinc granules in this. Zinc granules are basically the small pieces of zinc and after that we will pour in some sulfuric acid. So after pouring some sulfuric acid what we will observe? We will slightly shake it and we will observe two changes in these. The first change will be we will see slight bubbles forming at the top of this. So what are these bubbles? Bubbles of hydrogen gas will be formed. We know that gas always rises upward so we will see the bubbles coming in the upward direction. So this activity shows that there is always some evolution of a gas so it means that a chemical reaction has already occurred. Now in the same reaction after few minutes we will observe that if we will touch the outside portion of this flask we will observe that it has become hot. So it means that there is some change in temperature it means the chemical reaction has occurred. So it is a one activity in which you can show both these effects that a gas has been evolved and temperature has been changed. So this is a, these are the two effects of chemical reaction. Now we will study about the other two effects. I will again explain you only one activity in which you can observe both these changes. So before proceeding I will tell you what is a precipitate. So precipitate is basically an insoluble substance that is formed after a chemical reaction. Whenever a chemical reaction has occurred, if you will see like say in the bottom of test tube, if you will see that then there is insoluble substance, it means that the precipitate has already been formed. So in this activity what we will be doing, we will be taking two chemicals. For example, in these two test tubes, I will take two chemicals. First one will be lead nitrate that is PbNO3 whole twice and the second one will be potassium iodide. When we take these two substances, before proceeding I will tell you what is the color of these two solutions, it is colorless. PbNO3 whole twice that is lead nitrate and potassium iodide that is Ki, both these chemical compounds are colorless. On mixing these two substances, what we will observe? We will observe that a yellow precipitate of lead iodide will be formed. This is lead iodide. So, in this reaction, you can observe that there is some change in color because initially they were both colorless. Now, we have obtained yellow color. So it means that there is some change in color. And according to this formation of precipitate, we will observe that at the bottom of the test tube, you will observe a substance is formed, a chemical compound has been formed. That's the, that chemical substance is lead iodide, that is PbI2, which is exactly yellow in color. And along with that, you will observe that KNO3 will be formed. So in this reaction, you can see that both the changes, both the effects have been observed. What are these effects? That is there is formation of precipitate as well as there is some change in color. So these all four effects can be, either all four can be observed, either one of them can be observed. So these are the basic changes that are observed in chemical reaction. Okay students. Now, when we have discussed about the effects of chemical reaction, so we will be also discussing the basic types of chemical reaction. So basically there are four types of chemical reaction, that is the first one is combination reaction. We will study this reaction in detail and we will also study about the activity related to this reaction and the various types of these reactions. So, so what is the activity? Let us say we will take a compound that is calcium oxide which is also known as quick lime and when we will react it with water what will happen it will form slake lime now what is this slake lime 
we have already been discussed about this uh, the chemical naming of these reaction that is it is known as calcium oxide calcium oxide is basically the chemical name of this and quick lime is common name of the cao and similarly it is known as calcium hydroxide and the chemical name is uh, sorry the chemical name is calcium hydroxide and the common name is slate lime now what happens in this reaction that is basically it is the reaction that is used for white washing purposes you will be asked a simple question give the type of reaction name and type of reaction that is involved during white washing in white washing the same reaction is used it is a powdered substance that is available in market and when water is added to it the reaction is so vigorous that it immediately starts liberating heat so in this reaction when calcium hydroxide is formed along with this heat is also formed so talking about this calcium hydroxide it is the basic substance that is used for white washing so whenever white washing is done calcium hydroxide will be used and i'll also explain why some sort of shiny appearance is observed after this substance has been applied on the wall before proceeding to that carefully observe this reaction if i am talk about in the mathematical form it can be written as a plus b will give c or you can say a plus b will give ab so what is this in this reaction two substances have combined to form a single product so that's why this reaction is known as combination reaction so this is the basic example as well as it is an activity right so in this reaction as some heat is also evolved so i will tell you about one more reaction that is exothermic reaction so basically exothermic reactions are those reactions in which heat will be released so if i talk about this reaction you can say it is a combination reaction as well as it is an exothermic reaction right so moving on to i previously discussed about this that whenever any activity is done you will be asked about the first question will be what is your observation so first observation will be cao will react vigorously with water vigorously means reaction will be very very fast right vigorously with water and along with that a lot of heat will be generated so these are the two basic observations you will observe in this particular reaction again i am repeating that it is used for white washing so these are the two observations and we have already discussed this reaction right so moving on to next part that i told you like how shiny appearance is obtained on the walls i have told you like this calcium hydroxide is used for white washing whenever it is applied on the walls uh, the the person will leave it undisturbed for 2 to 3 days why he leaves it undisturbed for 2 to 3 days so that some shiny appearance will be obtained on the wall now how that shiny appearance is obtained i tell you very basic thing like this has this substance has already been applied on the walls which is calcium hydroxide the other name is slate lime now when this calcium hydroxide will react with the atmospheric carbon dioxide because it has the walls have been leave, left undisturbed for some time so it uh, this substance will react with the carbon dioxide that is present in the atmosphere and when they will react they will form a substance cacio3 which is known as calcium carbonate and along with that it will release water so due to the formation of this calcium carbonate shiny appearance will be obtained on the walls so you will just say this thing like whenever slate lime is applied on the walls it will react with the atmospheric of carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere due to which a chemical reaction will take place due to which a chemical compound called calcium carbonate will be formed and due to which the shiny appearance will be obtained on the walls start so students what we have discussed today we have discussed what is a chemical reaction what is a chemical equation and what are the basic effects of chemical reaction along with the reactions and humne aage ye bhi padha hai ki ek chemical reactions kitne type ki hoti hai abhi tak sirf humne ek type ki chemical reaction padhi hai that is combination reaction 
और उसमें भी हमने एक एक्टिविटी करी है नाउ वी विल गो टू फर्दर वट आर वट आर द्री अदर टाइप्स ऑफ रिएक्शन दैट इज डी कम्पोजिशन रिएक्शन डिस्प्लेसमेंट रिएक्शन एज वेल एज डबल डिस्प्लेसमेंट अलॉन्ग विद दिस वी विल डू द एक्टिविटी बट फॉर नाउ ऑन यू हैव टू रिवाइज ऑल द थिंग्स विच आर डिस्कस इन द क्लास एंड योर होमवर्क विल बी यू विल डिस्कस ऑल द थिंग्स with other students as well and you will write all the equations along with their chemical name as well as common name and the most important part is your observation you have to learn in the form of activity so be prepared with this and tomorrow we will discuss with the other reactions that is decomposition displacement and we will proceed further thank you class